Hi guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge, and welcome to another week of school lunch inspiration, this time with a Disney twist. Okay friends, just a few things before we get started. First off, this week I'm actually partnering with two awesome YouTube channels to bring you something really spectacular. I'm partnering with Kristen over at the channel Six Sister Stuff. On this channel, her and her sisters make so many excellent cooking videos and they also share their tips including Dollar Tree finds. And I'm also partnering with the channel Getaway Today that has helped over 2 million people enjoy discounted Southern California vacations. Now hear this you guys, we are coming together for a big giveaway. We are giving away to one lucky winner a Southern California vacation. The winner will receive a three night hotel stay for two adults and two children and one day tickets to two theme parks of their choice. This package is valued at $1,600. That is huge. Make sure to follow the link in the description box below if you wanna enter. The winner will be picked on March 25th and announced on March 26th 2018. And now on to the weekly shout out. This week it's going to Super Soraya Says for leaving us our first comment on last week's video. And our Instagram shout out goes to Carmen. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Instagram for your chance at being next week's shout out. Now let's get started. Good morning guys and happy Monday. Now since today is Monday, of course we're going with PB&J today, but today we made it really special by using some Mickey waffles instead of regular bread. These cute waffles are from Walmart and I started by just toasting them in the oven. I added some strawberry jam and some chunky peanut butter. Now to go along with this today, I'm also giving the kids lots of fresh strawberries and I just cut them up so that they're easier to eat and I added a cute little ring in there. So for Mackenzie and Lily, we have Minnie Mouse, and for Jackson, we have Mickey. Over in this corner, I have some cucumbers for today's vegetable, with a little bit of a ranch for dipping. Then I also have some really special crackers today. I know these look like goldfish crackers, but they're actually Mickey-shaped. And we picked these up on our last trip to Disneyland, so these are straight from Disneyland special crackers. So I just put them in this little container. I have a really cute red lid to go with that today. But I do have one more item for the lunch, and it's these Go Go Squeeze yogurt pouches. So this is actually a berry flavored yogurt. It doesn't have to be refrigerated. It's low fat yogurt with no preservatives. I think the kids are going to love it. Actually, before I package it up, I'm gonna see if they wanna come and take a look. I think they're going to be surprised. Okay guys, come take a look. Lunch time is over and it's time to see how they did. Actually, you guys did really well today. What was your favorite part? Um, I really liked the sandwich that we had. The waffle PB&J? Yeah. Wasn't that cute? Yeah. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. And happy Tuesday. And welcome to day two of Disney Lunch Week. Now, I do have a confession to make. Last Tuesday, I was supposed to send the kids with a nut-free lunch and I accidentally gave them a candy that had nuts. So they ended up eating it before they went to school and all was fine. But today I'm going to do a better job. Let me show you what I made. For today's lunch, we actually started last night by making a yummy chocolate pretzel treat. These guys right here, let me show you how we made them. For these we used some pretzels, some white melting chips, and then we got them in the oven just until the white chocolate was melted. I watched them very carefully. Then we took them out and we added some M&Ms in the shape of Mickey, of course. And then we let the chocolate harden. So we're left with this really cute Mickey-themed snack. It's a little bit salty and a little bit sweet and very cute. To go along with our lunches today, I also made a ham and cheese sandwich. I started by cutting out the bread, then I cut the cheese, added mayo and mustard to just Lily's. She's the only one who likes mustard. Then I added some ham and the cheese and put the sandwiches together. And I'm keeping the sandwiches together by adding this cute little pick, so it almost looks like a Minnie Mouse now. Over in this corner, I have lots of blueberries, and I added this really cute cupcake ring just to make it fun. 
Over in this corner, I have some baby carrots, and I did go ahead and add some ranch for a dipping, just right there in the corner. Now to go along with our lunch today, I also have some Mickey popcorn. I found these little bags at Walmart. These are the white cheddar popcorn, and it's a perfect amount for school lunch. And lastly, I'm also sending the kids with a really special drink today. They all have either Mickey or Minnie on them, and they're filled with 100% apple juice. So Mackenzie has Mickey and the Roadster Racers. Jackson has the regular Mickey, which he already opened. And then Lily has the Minnie Mouse. So this is my last check. There are no nuts in this lunch today. I think we're okay. We'll see you when we get back. Lunch time is over and, and here's what we ate. This one is Mackenzie. She did really well today. This one is Lily. She has a little bit of sandwich left. And here's Jackson. He has some blueberries and some carrots. Lily, what was your favorite part? The sandwich and the carrots. Okay. Oh, Cause I ate all my carrots. Good job. Jackson, what was your favorite? I like the sandwich and the carrots. The sandwich and the carrots. And you're finishing your carrots now? Good job. We'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys and happy Wednesday. So what do you think today, Jackson? It's cool. It looks really fun. Mm -hmm. So today's lunch is mostly chicken nuggets. I started by cooking the kids some of these castle shaped chicken nuggets. These remind me of Disneyland for sure. Now over in this back corner, I have a little cookie. These are these shortbread cookies from Disneyland and they're actually made in Scotland. So they're really authentic and tasty. Over in this corner, it looks like I have olives, but these are actually black grapes. I thought that the kids could make some Mickey shapes with these while they're eating them. They're a perfect Mickey shaped fruit. Over in this container, I gave the kids a couple of cherry tomatoes. Now to go along with this today, I'm also giving the kids some veggie chips. These ones are so cute. These are the Chippendale ones from Disneyland, and they're actually shaped like Mickey as well. So there's potato, sweet potato, and peas in these little chips. Now just for fun today, we went ahead and put water in these really fun bottles from the other day. They did have apple juice in them on the first day, but just water today. Whoopsie. After lunch, we'll show you what we ate. Lunch is over now. And here's what we ate. As you can tell, they did really well today. Mackenzie ate everything. Jackson ate pretty much everything. There's just one little tomato left. And Lily did pretty good too. She only ate one tomato, and she has a bit of her cookie left and a bit of her veggie chips. But overall, really good job today. What was your favorite part? I really, really like the cookie. The cookie, yeah, those cookies are so good. Next time we go back to Disney, we definitely need to get some more. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, and happy Thursday. Now as you can tell, today's lunch is super special. And that's because it's not only Mickey themed, but it's also Disney Park themed as well. We love Disneyland Park, and so today's lunch has many of the things you might find in the park. So for today's lunch, I started by decorating my boxes. Of course, I went with the red and black and yellow color for Mickey. Next, I rolled up some salami my kids really like this uncured kind, and I got it onto a cute pick. Next, it was time to cut out some cheese, and to make it special, I used my small Mickey Mouse cutter. And then we have our special pretzel. Now, no, this isn't Mickey shaped. It's hard to find those outside of the parks, but you can find traditional pretzels there as well. These are the super pretzels. I found these in the grocery store. So you just have to heat them up in the microwave and add your own salt. They're really easy and tasty too. And then I have these guys. You cannot go to Disneyland without trying the Dole Whip. The Dole Whip is a soft serve that's pineapple flavored. And so that's exactly what I've replicated in these little popsicle bags. I found these bags at the grocery store. I made these popsicles a couple days ago. Here's how I made them. I just took some frozen pineapple chunks and added them to a blender with some fruit juice. And then I blended it until it was a smoothie consistency. Then I got it into my popsicle bags and put those in the freezer. Now you guys, these taste just like a Dole Whip. They are so good and really easy to make as well. These are frozen right now, but they will thaw out in the kids' lunch boxes and be more of a smoothie consistency by lunchtime. Definitely a fun treat. 
Now another food that I think of when I think of Disneyland are the churros. So I stopped by Trader Joe's and I picked up some of these churro bites. These are crispy baked corn puffs coated with cinnamon and brown sugar. So yes, we have the churro as well. And lastly, I'm also giving the kids some go-go squeeze pouches. These are in the apple cinnamon variety. And these don't necessarily look like Disney, but they sell these all over the park. So they're perfect for today's lunch. You guys wanna come see? Cool! Wow, cool! All of the lunches have been fun this week, but this one has to be my favorite so far. Yeah! So we have the pretzel from Disneyland, we have the Dole Whip from Disneyland, we have the churros, are you guys ready to dig in? Yeah! We'll see you after lunch. Lunch is over now. Did you do a good job today? Yeah. What was your favorite part? The pretzel. The pretzels. Should we get a Mickey pretzel next time? Yeah, a Mickey one, not just a regular baby. Yeah, the Mickey ones are better. So as you can tell, they all did really well today. I don't see any leftovers. Mackenzie, what was your favorite part? I really liked the churro and the pretzel. What did you like, Jackson? I like the churro pretzel. Uh-huh. And, no, I liked everything. You liked everything? Uh-huh. What was your favorite part? The pretzel. The pretzel. We'll see you tomorrow. Hi, Hi guys, and happy Friday. Right now I've got Mackenzie, Jackson, and Lily here with me, and I just finished making lunch. What do you guys think? Cool. So can you tell what it is? Pizza. That's right, it's a DIY pizza. So your pizza crust is this little Mickey shape right here, and in this container I have the pizza sauce, so you can squirt it on there and spread it out. In this side, I have some shredded mozzarella, and then over here I have lots of pepperonis. I give you extra pepperonis, <laughs> so that when you're done with your pizza, you still have more pepperonis to eat. <laughs> now to go along with this today, I'm also sending them with a go-go squeeze, but this one's actually a blend of five different fruits. It has apples, mangoes, strawberries, peaches, and bananas. For an added snack today, I'm also giving the kids these little cookies. We got these at Disneyland during our last trip, and these are actually called Minnie's Sweet Snickerdoodle Cookies. So they're kind of like a graham cracker type cookie, like a Teddy Graham, but a really cute Minnie Mouse shape. Does that look like enough food for you guys? Yeah! Of course, if you want more food, you can just ask, and but, I can give you more. But you know what I noticed? What? That you gave boy liners for Jackson and girl liners for me and Lily. That's right, I did that differently today. When I started decorating these boxes, for Mackenzie and Lily, I added Minnie Mouse. But for Jackson, I did Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. So yeah, it is different today. It's so cute! Okay guys, of course, after lunch, I will show you what they ate. Okay friends, here's how they did today. Mackenzie ate just about everything. There's a little bit of cheese left. Jackson left a little bit of pepperoni. And Lily has several bites of pizza left. So maybe next time I would pack a little bit less. Are you gonna finish it right now? <laughs> yeah, it's still good. You can finish it now. And I hope you guys like this new setup. I've had some requests to go through this part of what they ate a little bit faster. So that's what I try to do this week. I do have to tell you a funny story about Lily's fruit pouch because it looks like it's full, but it's actually full of air. She has a plan. What's the plan, Lily? To trick everybody on April Fool's Day. Yeah, she asked me if he could save it until April Fool's Day so she could pull a prank on somebody. Because it's not really full, right? Yeah. You're so silly, that's a good idea. And we'll see you next week. Okay friends, let me know in the comments down below. Out of all of today's lunches, which one was your favorite? Also, don't forget to go check out the other channels involved in this giveaway. Kristen at Six Sisters Stuff and Getaway Today. And don't forget to enter our huge giveaway. Like I said, the link will be down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.